You know that one kid at school who thinks he's the coolest but in reality he's just annoying and embarrassing? That's by God on YouTube. This guy built his whole image on shouting and roasting people but behind all those screaming and insults there is nothing but ultimate cringe. Today we're breaking down why Pat God is one of the most toxic and unbearably stupid YouTubers out there. We're talking about his pathetic dramas, his boring roast and all the shady stuff he did in the past that he doesn't want you to know about. By the end of this video you see why Pat God is less of a king and more of a clan. Make sure you take off your underwear because this is gonna be brutal. Oh, hell hey, no, hey, wait, wait, wait. Hey, we'll oh, this For those who doesn't know, Pagod is a YouTuber that blew up by roasting popular streamers like I Show Speed. Yes, you heard me correctly. I Show Speed. But after that, his whole persona became about tearing other people down. No! I'm sorry. No! Sounds like a simple formula, right? But here's the thing: anyone can insult someone, but that doesn't make you look talented it makes you look stupid when your entire brand is based on being as mean as possible eventually people start seeing through it it's like watching the same joke over and over again it gets old really fast yeah but you're washed bro you're washed you're, like a fucking fat, you're a fat blubber whale on the beach you're not getting anywhere, you know you're oh, a carcass on the beach yeah. and uh, i could dunk on low tier god because he's uh, he's my little bitch i heard you were five foot one bro i don't know where you got that information from but i think you're horribly Yo, mistaken somebody said he was five foot one is that true uh, no, I already told you how tall I bro, bro, let me let me look this dude up. <laughs> what the fuck? Pagod's beef with Aisha Speed was one of the most desperate attempts to get famous. Aisha Speed is out there making waves, being one of the most entertaining streamers on the platform. Why Pagod, um, that guy, oh, he's just there making the same outdated roast over and over again. Like his life depends on it. I mean, his life obviously depends on those jokes. Pagod tried to ride on Speed's dick by roasting him, thinking he could bring Aisha Speed down to his level. But all he did was to just expose himself as a painful Aisha Speed wannabe. Do you want to know the craziest part about this? When Speed decided to fire back, Pagod couldn't take the heat. All he did was to respond with petty insults, proving once again that he's just like your neighbor's dog who backs a lot but never bites. Bro, and this Pagod dude, bro, I, bro, this Pagod kid, he's he must be scared because, well, look. When he joined my Discord, let me know when this Pat God dude join join a Discord. Cause I will be ready. Oh wait, they're saying Pat God's ready. Let me see what this Pat guy's person made out of. But you ugly. What the? F hey, bro. God damn, bro, you ain't got waves on your head, bro. You got a goddamn title sequence on your head. Yo, that's ugly. Bro, look at your emo ass, bro. If you look at your like, Burger King, with my Burger Queen? Can I please get a snap back to reality? And the streamy goes to. I show speed! I show speed is out there winning while Pat God is stuck in the past, throwing tantrums like a child. If you thought his drama with Asher Speed was bad, wait until you hear what he pulled on Leg. N not like the actual, not like Leg Leg, like, I mean, there's a YouTuber called Leg. I'll give you a breakdown. Pagod was part of a YouTube channel called Void where he and Leg made diss tracks and other roasting content. But when their relationship broke, Leg pushed them away from everything. Their YouTube channel, the Discord server, all their work together, Leg pushed them away. Leg pushed... <laughs> But instead of moving on like a grown-up, Pagod decided to throw a fist. He claimed that he was the genius behind all of their success. But the thing is, if you were really the genius behind Void, why do you have to cry about it online when you lost the channel? You would have just moved on and created something new. Just like, you know, you are a genius, right? So you you obviously have brains. The truth is, Pagod couldn't handle losing his meal ticket, so he resorted to the only thing that he knows. Playing the victim. It's not just sad, it's downright cringeworthy. Leg outplayed him. Pagod couldn't handle the heat, so what does he do? He whines! How is that for a roast master? Pagod is that YouTuber who thinks he's some kind of internet overlord, dishing out roast after roast, thinking he's untouchable. But let's face it, he's not clever, he's repetitive, predictable, and you know, sometimes kind of pathetic. His whole gig is roasting people who can't or won't hit back. You know, it's easy to tear someone down when you're just throwing away insults with no creativity behind them. He's like that bully at school who thinks he's tough but never picks on the quiet kid. He thinks he's the funniest guy around but in reality, everyone is just cringing. Haggard's content is nothing but hot air, loud and absolutely pointless. Like, I mean, 
Pointless. Pago talks a big game about exposing people, but when his own editors were scammed by leg, where was he? Where was the tough guy? Nowhere to be found. <laughs> I mean, for someone who's all about honesty, he sure knows how to keep quiet when it benefits him. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Pago only cares about one thing, just one thing, himself. And when, you know, when things don't just benefit him, he hides. He runs away, just like he did with leg and I show speed. He couldn't face any of them. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing, man. I don't know why I'm laughing, but hey, bad girl, you gotta change, bro. That's not just cringe, it's cowardness in the highest order. This guy is a joke and the punchline is he doesn't even know it. Oh, <sighs> that's sad. Now let's talk about the garbage because content. Pagod's roasts are just like reheated leftovers. Maybe they were funny the first five times, maybe the first six times, or maybe the first ten times, but by the eleven times, twelve times, they were just literally disgusting because it was repetitive. It's the same old formula. Find someone popular, roast them with the same ass insults, and still hope people don't notice. I mean, his fans can eat up his jokes and roast, but you know, anybody with half a brain cells, literally, if you have half a brain cell, you know this and see through the ads that this guy is just cringe and sorry to say but stupid i don't know how you all define stupid but you know the way i know he's stupid you know if you think i'm wrong google what the meaning of stupid is I'm it's lazy it's boring and it's embarrassing to know that this is what passes through as entertainment nowadays you know back in my days But you know what I'm trying to say? At the end of the day, Pagod is nothing but a cringe-worthy footnote in YouTube history. He thinks being toxic makes him untouchable, but oh, <laughs> He thinks being toxic makes him untouchable, but the truth is, it just shows how weak and predictable your content actually is, you know? And as for the Pagod fans here with us today, go ahead, share this video with Pagod. Maybe you realize that he's just a joke and the only one laughing is the rest of us with full brain cells and not the people with half brain cells. I don't know why I was doing this, but you know, I don't just know. See your um, um, you, um, your one more thing. I'm just playing, by God. You know I love you. <laughs>